Hi scholars, welcome to another video with uh, Math with Mr. Almeida on two-digit number words. In the previous lesson, we learned how to how to look at two uh, two-digit numbers and to write them in terms of tens and ones. Um, according to our place value chart, we knew that the place to the right is called the ones place, and the place to the left of that tells us how many tens we have. Um, so this number right here has nine tens and seven ones. This number is 97. Okay, And you can think of this as nine bundles of ten, um, and a ten is a, group, is a group of ten ones. Okay, um, So we know this is nine tens and seven ones, and this information is going to help us in order to be able to write this number right here, this number right here, 97, as a word and not just using the digits that make the numerals, okay? All right, so we have um, our number words listed right here. I'm going to go through them um, so that we can get a sense for what they actually mean. Um, well, they're just our counting words. It's the word that we say when we write down the actual symbol for the number. So when we say zero, that's the number that we use. Um, when we say one, that's what we write. Then we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And notice the number word for eight. This is eight, the numeral, and this is eight, the word. Nine, this is the numeral nine, and this is the word for nine. Now these, up till now, are just our one-digit numbers. As you can see, I can write down all of these numbers using just one digit. But when I get to 10, I now have 1, 10, and 0, 1s. Okay, the next counting number has two digits. So once we get to 10, we have two-digit numbers. Um, that's 1, 10, and 0, 1s. Or we can think of 10 as a group of 10, 1s. Okay? All right, now we're going to come to this category. We're going to call this category the teens. These are the teens. The teens are going to have one ten and a certain number of ones. Okay? And the next number that comes after ten would be eleven. Okay? So this tells us that we have one ten, if we were doing a place value chart, one ten and one one. Okay? This tells us we have one ten and one one. Next, twelve would be one ten and two ones. And I want you to see how 12 begins. 12 begins similarly to how 2 begins, TW, TW. So that tells us we have one ten and two ones. Now we get to the actual words that end in T-E-E-N. Whenever we get to a word and we see T-E-E-N, we know that that's going to tell us that we have a certain number of ones with a 10. So we have a 10 and three ones, 13. So 13 is one 10 and three ones. Next, we have uh, one 10 and four ones. So you, you can read it backwards. Um, I mean, you can write it backwards, though you read it um, the way that it's, it's written, 14. I don't want you to think that there, that means there's four 10s, any word that ends in T-E-E-N tells you that you have only, only one ten and this many number of ones. So one ten and four ones. You can say fifteen, and fifteen has a ten and five ones. Even though you're tempted to say five teen, it's actually fifteen. Okay? This sixteen tells you you have a ten and six ones. 17, a 10, and 7 ones. 18, a 10, and 8 ones. 19, a 10, and 9 ones. Okay? Now those are the teen numbers. No, words that end in T-E-E-N um, tell you that you have only one 10 and a certain number of ones. The number of ones will be the first part of the word that you say. Okay? Now we move on to the next word. Uh, after 19, which would be the next number, which is 20. Now 20 
It's very important that uh, th this section is so important. A word that ends in ty tells you the number of tens that you have. So ty will tell you I have this many tens. Any word that ends in ty tells you I have this many tens. And in this case, we have the tw again, 20. tw goes back to the 2. That tells us that we have two tens. Okay? So we put a 2 in the tens place and we put a 0 in the ones place because we only have two tens and nothing more. All right. Remember I said anywhere that ends in ty now, ty tells you that you have this many number of tens. So I have thir I have three tens for 30. Okay? So 30 is the number word for this numeral right here, 30. Next, I have four tens. Now, 40 is important because you don't write the U um, that you would if it was just the regular four, four ones. So when you don't see the U, it's going to be F-O-R-T-Y. Um, and that will tell you that you have four tens. Okay? T-Y tells you you have this many number of tens. 50 means that you have five tens. 60, six tens. 70, seven tens. So you have a seven in the uh, tens place and nothing more in the ones place. Then you have eight tens, 80. And then nine tens, 90. Okay? Now, now that you know this, there's one more rule and then we'll move on to the actual uh, writing of the number words. You're going to put a hyphen between the tens place and the ones place only if the number is greater than 20 and it has some ones other than zero. Okay? So that's when you're going to put a dash between the number itself, otherwise known as a hyphen, a dash or a hyphen. All right, let's move on to our words. So you see numbers in place value charts. This tells us that we have four tens and zero ones. Okay? So four tens and zero ones. Well, what's the word for four tens? Well, we went back here, and the number word for four tens is 40. So I'm going to write down that number word, 40. Remember, ty tells you that you have this many number of tens. And if you have zero of anything, any unit, you're not going to write down that word because all we have now is 40. And that's the number word for this, for this number right here. Uh, 40. Now we're going to move over to the next one. We have 110 and four ones. Remember, any time that you have only 110 and a certain number of ones, you're going to have a teen number. So we have four ones. Let me erase that so it looks like four ones and not 40 and ES. So we have four ones. 110, four ones. Anytime you only have 110 and a certain number of ones, you're going to have a teen number. So that's going to tell you that you have four teen. And that's the number we have right there. So we write down the number word for that. Four teen. For this number right here. Next, the number word for nine, uh, for nine tens and five ones. Nine tens and five ones. Well, the number word for nine tens is 90. Remember, it ends in ty. And is this number greater than um, 20? Yes, it is. Do we have some ones? Yes, we do. So here is where we're going to put a dash or a hyphen. And that'll be 90. And what is the word for five ones? Well, it's simply five. That's the number for ones. Anytime that you get to the ones place, you just say the number um, you, 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 write, you say the digit of the word that's in the ones place. So this is 5, so the word for that is 5. So this number is 95, and we're done with that number. Next, we move on to 8 tens and 7 ones. The number of word for 8 tens is 80. Not with two t's, but just one. And uh, is it more than 20? Yes. Do we have some ones? Yes. So we're going to put a dash in. 
um, then we have seven ones. What's the word for seven ones? Well, it's simply the number word for the digit you see. And this is a seven, so we write seven. The number word is 87. Lastly, for com changing a number in numeral form to word form, we are going to uh, look at how many tens we have. We have three tens and two ones. The number word for three tens is 30. This tells us that we have three tens. And uh, do we have, is this more than 20? Yes. Do we have some ones? Yes. So we're going to put a dash right in between. And the number word for uh, two ones is simply the number itself, two. So the number is 32. Now we are going to move from going from uh, numbers to words and doing the exact opposite, going from words to the actual numbers themselves. So we have 66. Well, 60 means six tens. And six means six ones. Well, that just told me something about where these numbers are placed. That's the ones place. That's the tens place. I now have a six in the ones place and a six in the tens place. So this number written out is, in standard form, 66. Next, I have 53. Well, 50 means five tens. And I have three is three ones. So that just told me where those numbers are placed on the place value chart. These are ones, these are tens. Um, so I have five tens, three ones. The number written out in standard form is 53. Next, eight tens, uh, sorry, 81. The number word for 80 uh, tells me that I have eight tens. So let me write that down. And one tells me that I have one, one. And going to the place value chart, I have eight tens and one, one. Written down in standard form, I have 81. This next one is 70. 70 tells me that I have seven tens and there's nothing else written so that all I have is seven tens so I'm going to write seven in the tens place and I have nothing more so I have I'm gonna put a zero in the ones place so I have seventy okay didn't tell me that I had one so I'm gonna put a zero there and now I have fifteen well fifteen remember we said any word that ends in t-e-e-n tells us that we have one ten and the beginning part tells us how many ones we have. So I have five ones. Set up a place value chart. I have one ten and five ones. The number for 15 is written as the digits one five. I hope that you enjoyed and learned how to change from um, numbers to actually number words and going backwards from the number words to the actual numbers themselves and how this all relates to place value. Have a good day.